on the table, it's about time for Ben 10 to get weird with Omni Launch Battle Figures. Three very hingy disc like Omnitrix figures that launch and transform. We have the two different sets available. On the left, we have Cannonbolt, Heat Blast, and XLR8. And on the right side, Diamond Head, Four Arms, and Wild Vine. Looks like the Omnitrix eye in each pack is painted a little bit different. A quick demonstration on the back of the box. The Omnitrix has the power to transform Ben into his different alien heroes, each with their own special powers. He just dials in the alien he needs to get the job done, gets it wrong, and once Ben activates the Omnitrix, it's hero time. In theory, this is a quick image of how the Omni Launch battle figures work. Load disc, press button to launch a disc from the Omnitrix. Disc transforms into a figure in midair. Figure lands on its feet ready for battle. Huh, so all the aliens have some sort of cat DNA. Okay, then let's remove from package and see if these Omni Launch battle figures do what they say they do. And outside of the package, figures are still looking very hingy. For the most part, they're probably going to be very similar in how they are built because they're all going to spring from this thing pretty much the same way. But it does look like they've done some things to make them look different. The heads are different. The feet are different. Obviously the paint and or plastic color is different. So there's enough done to make these unique and collectible by themselves. As for the Omnitrix, uh, looks like we have to remove this cardboard cutout for the box. Pretty much uh, the same size as what we saw with the basic Omnitrix, I would say. Maybe just a little more compact without its face on there. Looks like we have a nice soft rubber band for easy arm attachment. Looks like there's several sizes here too. This would probably be your largest size. About the size of a uh, cannon bolt there. Okay, let's test out and launch our Omni Launch Battle figures. Good thing we have some instructions included. A few steps look a little bit technical. It's funny, once you remove the rubber band from these figures in the package, they can get kind of floppy. But it looks like they're still landing on their feet. Well, almost. Let's work with maybe Heat Blast. Technically, Cannonbolt is the best for this, but I want to use one with a head that sticks out from on top. Cannonbolt's head is just stuck and rounded off. Looks like the first thing we need to do is fold in these arms. Wow, these arms like move all over the place. And it looks like we've got a little latch to go into the center piece there. So that's a nice little fit there. Feels somewhat snug. Then we're going to want to flip Heat Blast's head inward. Everything's on little springies too, so things are going to flip pretty well, I would imagine. There we go, this back clear panel up. Now for the fun part. Let's pick up our Omnitrix and to insert Heat Blast, have it facing this way, he's facing away from us, and get those back legs in, and then simply flip down and latches. That's pretty good, it's a solid fit. A little bit tricky, but I think once you figure it out, you can do it pretty quickly. And then, of course, the launch. So maybe move cannon bolt, accelerate out of the way. We're going to press the little button here on the side. And it flips out, and that actually flipped out pretty good. That's kind of entertaining. Let's test out accelerate real quick here. Arms folded in. By the way, nice detail adding Accelerate's tail on the back of this panel. Head down, back clear panel up. You kind of want to pinch it with both fingers like this to hold it. Oh well, more like this so that you can point it away. Again with the back legs, get them into the grooves inside the watch and then flip down and everything locks and clicks pretty easily. So that's actually really nice and surprising how well that works and maybe come around again, maybe from this side. Wow, look at that, nicely done Accelerate. Let's try Cannonbolt. Now Cannonbolt doesn't have a head that flips back, his head just stays forward, so that's a little easier to work with. Uh, might be the best one to start with if you're new to this. Flip up that back stabilizer again. 
and get into the watch. Pretty easy, very impressive. Let's try Cannibal. I like it from the side here, it looks really funny. Oh, he did not land on his feet though. I wonder if I was too much of an angle. Kind of landed on his back. Let's give him one more shot. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe I'll hold it more up straight. Let's try that. There we go. Awesome. Surprisingly fun. Let's open up that other pack. Okay, our next set of figures includes a wild vine, which is a little bit silly in mechanical form since wild vine's more of a biological thing. I could see Diamond Head folding up into something like this. And there's four arms. Uh, where's the other arms? Looks like it's just going to be two arms today. Man, these things are really hingy. We have a different Omnitrix with this set. Painted a little different, I should say. Got kind of a green outside, whereas the other set had more of a black outside, but pretty much the same thing, same size of all that fun. So let's try to load a couple of these guys. All right, who's first? Let's go with Diamond Head. Flip the head back there. Looks like the only one with the head that doesn't flip is Cannonbolt's head. Every other one has a head that you're gonna wanna flip back. Occasionally there is a panel on the front of the Omnitrix that you kind of have to manually fold down once everything is in place. It's not really that necessary. Look at his arm. It's not really that necessary. I don't believe it's just kind of an aesthetic thing. Oh, <laughs> Diamond Head really, <laughs> really wants out. Ah, oh, let me out of here. Um, for some reason he is not latching in as tight as the others. There we go. Now he's, now he's latched in. That was kind of funny. Okay, so let's launch him up. That is so fun. All right, let's try forearms here. Really try to get that latch pressed in and you won't have that happen. Oh, there's his head. Okay. There's that top piece again, just kind of flip it down and in. Each one works a little bit different, has their own uh, things going on. And try this. Very good. All right, one more time. Test out Wild Vine here. Once you get the hang of this, you could do this in the dark. It's that easy. All right, watch out, guys. See if you can catch Wild Vine. Ah, landed right in front of him. Very spot on. Inside the box for added play, we have a target to work with. Looks like we've got several of the bad guys here with uh, Vilgax in the center for a thousand points. The next ring a hundred points and ten points on the outside. Shouldn't take up too much table space. If you need to, you could possibly tape the edges down if you get super competitive. Now we can test this fun angle out. Uh, let's try out Accelerate here and see how many points we can get. You all right, Accelerate? Uh. I think it would help to tape it down because I think it's kind of hurting their landing. Let's test out uh, forearms. All right, here we go. How many points is forearms going to get? Ah, just 10 points. Forearms did not jump very far that time. Perhaps you want to hold up your watch a little higher. Let's try out one more, maybe Diamond Head. Here we go, one last try. I'll hold it up a little higher. And Diamond Head is down for a thousand points with a little bit of help. So the target aspect of the toy gives you a little more to play for. I'm surprisingly impressed by these Omni Launch Battle figures. They are definitely a gimmick toy out of the Ben 10 toy line, something a little bit different to look at. I would of course always stick with the action figures first. But I think these have some play value. Perhaps maybe if you were on a road trip or traveling somewhere and needed something small size to play around with. The launch transform ready to battle thing should keep you interested in a small space area and should pack down pretty well too. 
watching them transform in midair is pretty exciting too. Maybe get a slow motion camera on that and do some fun things. I don't believe you really need to pick up both packs, just pick up one with your favorite characters and you're good to go. Alright, good deal. Well, is it my turn to get loaded into the watch? Uh, sure. But I think we'll need one of the Omni Launch battle figurines to help you out. Hey, forearms. Hey! Still works, even with the squirrel on top. I landed that. Yeah. Ben 10 Omni Launch Battle Figures arrives on store shelves January 2018. They run about $15 per pack. If you're looking for a spring launching good time, these small, strange, hingy figures will do that for you. However, if you're looking for something authentic, just stick with the action figures. But if you're looking for that toy that launches into your eye patch, give a set of these a quick try. That's what I have to say about that. The Omni Squirrel launches its tail, and it then transforms into a squirrel again. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.